Hey, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct, and we're in Creedmoor today, and, and looking at what has been a porch conversion, and the thing I'm concerned about is um, underneath, we've got joists, and you can see from my light, they're going left to right, which is the way they usually go, because the girder goes to front to back, and you see the joist band, and you see the pier, which looks like it's a stone column, it doesn't look like there's any concrete in it. And uh, South Carolina, we call it cement. But you see how it's way off to the right? It needs to be in the middle. I'm not real unhappy about that because it's on something. The second one, I'm not real sure why, but it's way off to the left. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you the last one. And I'm going to do this carefully because I'm not uh, real excited about being in here. Okay, and you see the last one? That girder so off to the left, it's not even on top of your column. It's also short, meaning it's stopping right at the column. And uh, if you walk in this room, what you're going to be doing is walking downhill. Now what we've got to do is we've got to jack this room up, get it level from the interior perspective. We've got to check these columns and get them full of concrete so they're not moving. Let me take a peek. Those joints have nothing in them. It's what you call a dry stack. Interior, at least as far as my fingers could reach, I don't see anything concrete wise. Now, this is, all right, there's part of your, probably your shim material. But, uh, oh man, all right. All right, you see that? That's uh, that's a problem. See that? It's a dry stack. We've got to get this on concrete bed. And you see the end of your girder here, and that's a double two by six. Actually, that's a four by six single, and that's why they stopped it right here. And we need a little bit longer than that. Let me get a length for you. My engineer can calculate the girder, but I know my engineer is going to tell me a double two by ten. All right, so that's seven feet to my leg, and I'm going to run down to that rear wall. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate the help. That's nine feet to my leg on that run, and I happen to know that seven plus nine used to equal 16, but that was old math. Um, I'd like that girder to touch that edge. Um, those uh, are so impinged. I don't really feel good about that. We've got a dryer vent venting out into this cavity, which is uh, double dog dumb. We need to pull him out and get him underneath that deck to my right or to the great outdoors to the left. But, uh, boy, I tell you, somebody, somebody is, uh, you know, it's an example of why you don't use a contractor that might give you the cheapest bid. And it's a great example of why you get things permitted and inspected. Hooey. Well, see, we're finding out this was not permitted. Who was your home inspector? Uh, we have a team. All right. You need to, you, when, when did you buy this house? Three years ago. Did he cite?